17 mile an hour winds right now. That is ridiculous. No signs of slowing down at all. They start to slow down at about 5 p.m. Well, I do believe we have been had by the weather app that I've chose to use. And I honestly do not know how this can be right. Northeast nine miles an hour, are you kidding me? It's anything but that. Sit down just for a second. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna try to catch somebody slipping right here at the drain. I need a rest though too. I had to get on hands and knees literally to try and not become a sail for that wind. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna go in here. It's gonna get super skinny, but at least I'll be sheltered from the wind being able to pick us apart. I just gotta catch my breath really fast. Seriously need that trolling motor today. No bird action. Water level is, I'm gonna say probably four inches high, four to six, somewhere around there. All right, let's go girl. Good to know that the paddle can hold you. Let's get out of here. I'm going to go right inside this small ditch. It's going to lead us to a nice sized back pond. We should be sheltered from the wind. In case y'all are wondering why I'm on my knees, hands and knees right up here at the front. That wind is so brutal that my body's acting like a sail and it's really hard to get myself into there or to even gain any ground. We got an outgoing tide and we have the wind against us. Both of them are against us. They're working with each other and just made it really hard to get back here far enough. Oh God, look at that right there. There's a school of reds coming straight at us. That is beautiful, isn't it? I'm not even gonna cast on them. I know I could catch something. It is absolutely gorgeous. They're going after small little tiny shrimp. All right. Let's go after one now. I'm just trying to fish alongside the outskirts of them. That's the beauty of getting skinny with a platform that you choose to bring out into the marsh. So being that these guys are starting to make their way out, they know something that I don't know. And I do know low tide is coming. He's after it. Um, I don't want to get stuck back here when low tide happens. Oh, that is so gorgeous to see that. As long as we don't spook the entire school, I should be fine. Oh my gosh, beautiful redfish. Come here. 
There we go, beautiful. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh, first donkey of the day. Let's stand on this side so that y'all can be able to see this fella. But, uh-oh, he's a bleeding. We gotta hurry up and get him off. I got a bleeder. Dude. Come here, honey. I'm trying to get you off. There we go. Hold on, hold on right there. The double bunny. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Uh, yeah. I don't think we're going to put them on there all bloodied up, but right there. That's what it's all about. Catching these redfish, schooling up. We'll see you later, bud. Oh, here comes another school. I'm just gonna try to hurry up and position ourselves to where we can effectively cast on those guys. Yeah, they're all exiting the marsh right now, so I'm pretty sure if we just planted ourselves, we're gonna be able to, to get them. Probably no sense in me continuing further inside. Oh my gosh, that looks so gorgeous. Let's get the rod right here in front of us. Oh, did I spook him? I probably did. All I see is a big old huge mud cloud. I'm thinking I spooked those fellas. I've got to go about 30 yards to get within casting distance and I think that's what I'm about to do. Plus I want to get off of this little shallow flat that I beached myself on. Back here we're okay and we have enough water to get ourselves out. So I'm going to do that while I can. We'll make our way right over there. I don't know if they're mullet or not but I definitely want to find out before it gets too late and we run out of water back here inside the marsh. Look at all that bait. There's more bait right there. If there was a redfish, surely they would have blown up on those guys. Alrighty. Let's push ourselves into some deeper water. So y'all can see, oh well, I was going to say y'all can see the oyster. Maybe y'all saw it before the wake from the skiff hit us. Um, but that's how shallow we are. I saw a blow up right inside here from a red. I just wanted to see if we can come over and possibly spot the fella. That right there is a full size skiff and in order to get back here you got to be on plane. And if you don't know what you're doing, like the route to take, man oh man, you're going to really jack up the bottom of your hole. And if you got a glass one, then oh, that's probably going to be like a pretty expensive mistake. Hopefully the next time y'all see me out there on the water with the H skiff, I will be able to sport that new skiffy push pole from Fibertex. Um, I believe, hopefully, I'm gonna be able to go down there tomorrow and pick it up. 
Um, looking really forward to that. And uh, one of the things that I learned about the H skiff today was the dampening, uh, like the noise dampening that it has because of the C deck. That stuff is awesome. Um, that coupled with, I guess, like the, the fiberglass, it just seems to feel a lot more solid than the plastic on the kayaks. So I'm able to move around on that thing with great stability and uh, without making too much noise. Uh, so I, I'm loving every bit of that platform with each trip that I take out there on the water. Seeing the schools of reds was icing on the cake today and being able to catch one, that's just a cherry on the top. So again, thank y'all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. For those of you interested in the gear that I'm using, whether it be the loose fishing reels, the old 18 rods, the bugs fishing lures all of them are going to be linked in the description down below so if you decide to click on one and make a purchase just know that you will be supporting the channel and i really appreciate it because all of those funds go towards doing more bigger and better things i invest every dollar that i get right back into the channel and uh, that's how i purchased the hskiff 13. all right that is gonna do it until next time tight lines y'all